This is Peter Fletcher, and he has counted and logged every single one of his sneezes for the past 14 years. Sneeze number one, 8.56am, 12th of July, 2007. You can see all of Peter's sneezes on his website. Every sneeze is numbered incrementally with a note on where the sneeze occurred, the strength of the sneeze, and what he was doing at the time of the sneeze. Peter's log has been going on since July of 2007, and since then he has sneezed 5,132 times. I can't remember where I originally found out about Peter's website, but as soon as I did, I had a few questions, most importantly being why the website had stopped three years ago. I reached out to Peter and he did respond. He was unavailable for an interview, but I was lucky enough to ask him a few questions and he did answer. The first thing I asked, of course, is why the sneeze count had stopped. Thankfully, the sneeze count hasn't stopped. Peter has still been recording every single sneeze over the past three years. He just simply hasn't got around to updating the website. Since starting the website, Peter has become a medical statistician in clinical trials, so a very relevant job to, <laughs> to the sneeze count thing. But as you can imagine, he's quite busy at the moment. So he's still keeping a detailed record of every single sneeze. It's just about getting the time to upload it onto the website for us all to see. One of my other questions for Peter was, why did he start? Was there anything special about sneeze zero? And the answer to that is basically no. There was nothing special about the sneezes. He just had the idea and started doing it. I asked Peter how he remembers to record every single sneeze. I know if it was me, I'd forget after the first three or four. But for Peter, it very quickly became ingrained in his mind to naturally just record the sneeze as soon as it happened. Originally, Peter actually had a notebook that he would write it down in physically, but then he switched over to writing the sneezes in his emails on his phone. Because of course, you've always got your phone on you, it's quick and easy and seemingly convenient but that's actually a decision that he said he regrets. I wanted to know what Peter does when he sneezes at inappropriate times. Like what if you're in a really important meeting around loads of bosses and you sneeze? Do you just pull out your phone and record it? What if he's having a serious conversation with a loved one or a friend? Or what if he's having a shag? Do you just pause what you're doing there and then and record the sneeze? Do you try and remember it? And do you actually write down every little detail about what you're doing and be honest? And I did actually go looking through the blog to try and find some embarrassing or maybe just some funny sneezes that I could find. But there wasn't really any. Peter believes that we may all unconsciously suppress our sneezes during these moments where we know it would be particularly awkward because we subconsciously feel the negative pressure from if we did sneeze. And I think he may be onto something. Let me know in the comments if you can remember a time you sneezed during sex. I wanted to know if Peter had a favourite sneeze out of his five or so thousand sneezes that are on the website. He doesn't specifically have an absolute favourite sneeze, but he does bring up the significance of certain sneezes, like the ones before major life events. For example, the last sneeze before he became a father. And this is what I quite like about his weird sneeze counting hobby that he has. It's like a little window into 11 years of somebody's life purely just through their sneezes. On the surface, it's just quite amusing to scroll through and read some of the funny sneezes or go to some milestone sneezes or go to what sneeze happened on your birthday. But then the more you scroll through, the more you actually learn about Peter. You see aspects of his life progress and grow as the sneezes go on through the years. Peter says himself in the reflection section of his website that it revealed how much time he actually spends in his office and in front of the computer. But what I find interesting is seeing how his life changes throughout the year as well, purely just on what he's doing at the time of the sneezes. Here's an example. Early on in, in 2008, July, he's sneezing at Latitude Music Festival. You can see he's sneezing on the way there while trying to find a friend's tent and while watching C6 Steve with a one string guitar. Then less than a year later in May of 2009, he does his first sneeze as a father, number 1446. You can see when you scroll around this time period that he's sneezing in the hospital while his wife is giving birth to his first child. And from here on we see the usual tasks that new parents tend to do, like changing a nappy or burping the baby. Uh, or the lack of lions that you get in the morning. Watching Peppa Pig, more Peppa Pig, more Peppa Pig, and more Peppa Pig. Picking up and dropping off the children from school. Wiping the butter off of their face. And not just what Peter was doing at the time of sneezes changed, but where he is. It seems like there's less time maybe in the office or watching TV, and there's more time uh, in a children's play area or at the school. You also get to relive little bits of history through Peter sneezes as well. There's times where he sneezes while watching TV or reading an article about a significant news story or event that happened in the world. You can tell that Peter enjoys international football because he watches every single World Cup and European tournament. And you can see that he keeps up with his politics. You can see there's times where he's reading about something a prime minister has said or watching talks about the EU referendum, for example. And sometimes the thing that Peter's doing is like really relevant to the time period. You think that not a lot changes within 11 years, but it's the small things like transferring photos from his phone to his computer 
No one does that anymore. Like watching DVDs. And you can see early on, he might mention that he's channel hopping or flicking through what's on TV. Whereas later on, he's scrolling through Netflix. And May of 2015, watching Game of Thrones before that turned into a steaming pile of shit. I think Peter summarises it best when he says, Think of each sneeze as a single frame into the time-lapse animation of your life. It reminds me of those videos where people take a photo of themselves every day and make a time lapse of it. You don't know that person, but just by watching a video, seeing one frame of their day, you get a small glimpse into someone's life. People sharing parts of their life is not a new concept. People share their lives on social media every day. But these are carefully crafted and selected peaks into people's lives. But a sneeze is unpredictable. They can come at times that you normally wouldn't share with the world. It's a real, genuine, honest peek into someone's life because Peter could be doing the most boring, mundane thing at the time of the sneeze. It's not like with an Instagram photo where you can go and pose and edit it and make sure it's perfect. When that sneeze comes, that's what he's posting. So Peter, I hope you get around to updating your website soon. The link to the Sneeze Camp website will of course be in the description below. So feel free to go and have a look at that, flick through, find your favorite sneezes and enjoy. And if you'd like to hear more about the Sneeze Camp website, then follow the Curios Cast podcast where in a couple of weeks we'll be talking about the Sneeze Camp website on the podcast. And we'll also be talking about a Reddit user who counted something else every time he wanked. It's pretty interesting, pretty disgusting, and pretty funny. So follow the podcast and you'll hear me, Rob, and George talk about Peter and his sneeze website and also this wanker who recorded every single time he masturbated for four years uh, in with some pretty good detail. All the links are in the description. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.